In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Typography 7 Photoshop action. So the way that the action works is you open up your photo, you simply fill in your search with the color, and display the action. So here's the effect that the action creates. So as you can see, what the action does, it transforms the whole photo into the typography effect, and the results that you get are fully layered, so there is a lot of options for customizing the results, and also the uh, whole text is actually a single text layer, and that makes the editing easy as much as possible. Alright, so let me just close these two windows. So before you use the action, there's just a few things that you check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing that you check is that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called a background, and have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to Layer, New, and choose a background from Layer. Then click on this little menu icon over here, and go to Panel Options. And just make sure that this option here, the Add Copy, the Copy add Layers and Groups is checked. Then go to Image, Mode, and make sure your photo is the RGB Color Mode 8 bit scale. Then check the image size from here. So you can actually use any image size that you like, and um, I'm also using the uh, image size around between the 20 and 40 hundred pixels wider height. Alright. So to like the action, just go to Window, Actions. Click on this little menu icon over here, Load Actions, and just choose the action from the folder according to your Photoshop version. Select the action file, click Load, and the action will appear here in your Actions panel. Alright, so now what you need to do is just go to Layer, New, Layer, to create a new layer, and name it Brush. It's very important that you type the brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase, because the otherwise the action won't work. Just choose OK. And now, now you need to uh, fill the uh, your subject area with a color, so you can choose a brush tool, pick a hard or soft brush, and choose any color here, color doesn't matter, and just brush over your subject area. Or what you can do is you can make a selection of your subject and then just fill it with the color. So for example, if you want to make a selection uh, of your subject, just need to select the, the background layer. You can use, for example, the quick selection tool. This example is easier to select the background, then the subject, then press Ctrl or Shift I or Command Shift I to invert the selection, then select the brush layer again and press Shift F5 and just fill the selection with the foreground color. And then press Ctrl Command D to deselect. All right. So it's important that you have these color uh, fill on this brush layer. So I already done the brushing before, so I'm just going to open my PSD file. Here it is. Alright, so once more it's important that you have this color fill on this brush layer. Alright, so all you have to do now is just select the Typography 7 action and click play. So I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back uh, when the first message shows. Alright, all right, so here's the first message. and. It says, in next pop-up window, choose the text PSD file that can be downloaded and click open. Choose continue to proceed. So just choose continue. And now just se select the uh, text file that can be downloaded and click open. Alright, so now here we got another message. It says, now using the move tool, click anywhere inside the canvas and just hold and drag the text layer into the photo document. Make sure that text covers complete canvas. Then play the action again. Choose stop to proceed. So choose stop. And while you have the move tool selected, just click and drag this text layer into your photo uh, document. You can just position it as you like. You don't need to make any changes to the text now. You can do it later once the action is finished. So you just place it like this. And all you have to do now is just click play again. And I'm going to fasten the video here again. And I'm going to get back when uh, the action uh, finishes. And then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design, and how can you customize it. Alright, so the action here just finished, so first we're just going to close these actions panel over here, and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel. Alright, so the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you quickly do that? You just hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or Command option for a Mac, and while this folder is selected, just click a little arrow here, and on that we are going to close down all the folders. Alright, so the first layer that we got here is the background color layer. So you can just double click on this color box over here and you can use any color that you like, right? And as you can probably already noticed, this layer has the gradient overlay style. It's more visible on the uh, darker colors, right? It creates a light source on the middle. So what you can do is you can double click on this gradient overlay style over here and you can make any changes like change the opacity, the style, the angle, scale and other, right? And the next layer that we got here is the text. 
So as I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, the complete text is actually a single text layer and that makes the editing really uh, quick and easy. All right, and as you can see here, that this text has the uh, layer mask and this layer mask is changing the tones of the text so it makes, uh, it creates the subject actually. All right, and you can, um, I'm going to explain later how you change these tones. So if you wish to make any changes to the text, all you need to do is to just select the horizontal type tool and click over the text, all right? Now, you might need to transform these uh, text box so it, the text covers the whole uh, canvas. You can also copy and paste more text, add more text if needed. If you wish to change any of the text, all you have to do is to just, just select the text. You can just start typing right, your text. And uh, you can change easy, uh, you can change the font, you can change the layer, uh, the font style, you can change the font size, the alignment, the color, you can literally make any changes to the text. So what I'm going to do now is just going to press Ctrl and A on the keyboard to select uh, complete text and then just going to change the font. I'm going to use this font in this example and then I'm just going to change the font size. Alright, just like this. And as you can see, the subject is not clearly visible because they're just a uh, very large uh, uh, line height, right? The spacing between the rows of the text. So what I'm going to do is just going to go to Window, Character, and in the Character panel, I'm just going to select the complete text again and just going to change the spacing to about 25 pixels, right? So you can also make a lot of changes to the text here, like adding the styles, italic, bold styles, changing the spacing between the letters and the other. You can also change the color of the text. You just select the text, click on this color box over here, and choose any color that you like. All right? So how you adjust these tones is actually you can hide these two layers and then show these uh, two folders. All right? So how this works is that wherever you have the black color, the text will be black, and wherever you have the white color, the text uh, actually won't be visible. All right. So, if you wish to make text in the background more visible, what you need to do is you need to make this uh, background color a bit darker, right? And when you open the main subject folder, I'm just gonna hide the subject details for now. So as you can see, these. Um, the effect is completely layered, so what you can do is you can change the opacity of these layers to create different tones and make the text visibility uh, different, alright? So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit of this layer, right? So you can literally make any changes that you like, so if I for example drop this opacity text on this area won't be uh, in black color, it's going to be some um, the lighter color, right? I'm gonna keep it default. So that's how you change the toning, right? And here, the subject details. This is really gonna reveal a lot of details. Now, in this example, uh, just gonna drop down the opacity a little bit of this layer. So the way you change opacity is you can just click on the word opacity and drag it aside like this, right? Or you can click on this letter here and then drag this slider around. So I'm just gonna set it like this, and in this example, I won't be using this layer, right? So I'm just gonna hide it. And all you have to do after you finish with this is just to get back to the actions panel again and just select the update the settings action and just click play. All right, and you will make the changes. Uh, it will apply the changes that you have made. All right. So now. The next layer we got here is the uh, it says color text brush white into a mask. So when you open this folder, you'll find two, la uh, two layers here, right? So this is the use original photo colors and use single color layer. Before you brush with the white into this layer mask, you need to uh, show uh, one of these two layers, right? So in, if you, for example, want to use the single color, you can just turn on this layer, and when you brush with the white, you're going to start revealing. Uh, these colors you're going to start colorizing the text, right? 
so you can change the color by uh, double clicking this color box and then you can choose any color here that you like right and if you turn on this one this layer here then you're gonna start revealing the original uh, photo colors right so this layer also has a layer mask so it uh, makes the layer visible only over the text area what you can do is you can shift click to disable this layer mask and make uh, actually colorize the background as well right it usually makes the colors uh, more visible and more saturated Right, so I'm just gonna uh, reset this layer mask and I'm going to turn on this layer because I want to reveal the original photo colors uh, on specific areas. Alright. And just like this. And this is gonna, you can use square brackets in your keyboard to quickly change the brush size. Alright. So if I disable this, I'm gonna make this text a bit more, uh, this color a bit more intensive. You can of course change the text color as I have mentioned at the beginning by selecting the text to change the color. So you can just use the method that you prefer. Uh, if you want to use a single color, this is usually a faster method, but it all depends on what kind of effect you wish to achieve. So you can use this layer or not, it all depends also uh, what you like. So that's it. And uh, the last layer we got here is the brush layer. Right? So that's the brush that we made on the beginning of the video. You might need to use this selection for subject if, for example, want to colorize the whole text except uh, the background area. In that case, you can uh, just press Control or Command on this. Um, Control Command click on this on uh, the brush layer thumbnail to make selection of the subject, and then just fill this uh, selection with the white color by pressing Shift and F5 to set the white as a foreground color and you're going to colorize on the subject or you might use it for something other. Right, so that's it and I hope you understood everything. Now let's just quickly check the before and after. Right, so this is the before effect and this is the after effect. Right, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.